Our next exercise just continues to develop off of the short scale fragment you worked on in lesson seven. Now these scale fragments are gonna be a little bit longer with a little bit of a jump in between. You'll notice there's definitely an X stroke involved as you do a turnaround between the notes. And I want you to start this with two different mallets. The first time you play it, you start with stick three. The next time you play it, you start with stick two. Here's the first couple of measures, starting with stick three. Now I'll play the same exercise, starting with stick two. It definitely feels different when you start with stick three versus stick two. You run into that in all kinds of literature, so you really want to make sure you can practice your scales playing with either mallet beginning the lick. When you play moving up the keyboard, starting with stick three, you're gonna have a little bit more of an X stroke. When you play down the keyboard, starting with stick two, that is when the X stroke is involved there. It's definitely gonna feel different starting with stick three versus starting with stick two, but all those principles you know still apply. It's a nice, relaxed rotation. Your intervals, you'll wanna keep them at about a fourth. Your hands are nice and low to the keyboard and you keep your grip nice and relaxed without gripping too tightly.